today I will read you Ready to Read Level 2 Henry and Mudge and Miss Harper's house. A sweetheart dance. Valentine's Day was coming. Henry and his big dog Mars love Valentine's Day because they love the candy. They like the little candy hearts that said you are swell and oh dear and things like that. Henry read the words and must look them off. They were a good team. On this Valentine's Day, Henry's father and Henry's mother were going to a sweetheart dance. A sweetheart dance? <gasps> would be staying with Miss Harper. Miss Harper lived across the street in a big stone house with drop, droppy trees and a dark windows and a gargoyle on the door. Ooh. Henry liked Miss Hopper, but he did not like her house. Are you sure? Bush and I can't come to the sweetheart dance. Henry asked his father. Only if you both promise to wear a tuxedo and shiny black shoes and waltz to the blue bamboo, said Henry's father. Said Henry's father. <laughs> Henry looked that much and tried to imagine him in a tuxedo and shiny black shoes waltzing the blue bamboo. I think we'd better go to Miss Hopper's, Henry said. Good idea, said Henry's father, because Mush only knows how to tap, ban tap dance. Henry said with a grin. Miss Hopper, on Valentine's night, Henry's parents all dressed up. Henry looked at them. Wow, he said. I bet you didn't know I was this handsome, said Henry's dad. And I did, said Henry's mother, giving him a kiss. Ah, uh, too much mushy stuff, Henry said too much. Let's get to Miss Hopper's house quick. At Miss Harper's house, Miss licked it grandly on the front door. Henry giggled. He doesn't scare you much, Henry said. When 
Miss Hopper. Ah. Hopper opened the door. She had a violin on her hand. She smiled at Henry. She patted Mudge. She said goodbye to Henry's parents. And Henry and Mudge went inside. Wow, said Henry. And he had never been inside Miss Hopper's house before. It was like a castle. There was big candlers, little paintings, and a grand piano, and lucky for much. Cats everywhere! Here, here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. How many do you have, Miss Hopper? asked Henry. Eleven, said Miss Hopper's all girls. Miss looked at the cats and wagged. looked at the cats and wagged. Pitty, hitty, mitty, kitty, kissy. No, I mean kitty. Most love cats, Henry told Miss Hopper. Miss Hopper patted her mush again. Mush love everything, she said. Henry smiled. Miss Hopper's house was a bed. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Wonderful. Costumes. Miss Hopper wasn't like anymore. Henry had ever met. She played the violin for him. She served him a tea. She told him about her father, who had been a famous actor. A famous actor? Like him and him. She was very kind to Mudge. She cooked him a bowl of oatmeal and gave him a loaf of French bread. After the tea and music and the oatmeal, Miss Hopper took them upstairs. Oh, I ripped. I ripped. She opened a room that had been her father's. Wow, said Henry. The room was full of costumes. Full of costumes?
and tall hats and shiny coats. There were canes and swords and umbrellas. They were wigs. I mean, they were wigs. <clears throat> Mr. Miss Hopper put a wig on Mudge. You look like a poodle, Mudge, said Henry. Much wagged and wagged. Henry and Mudge and Miss Hopper spent most of everything in the costume war room. They had a wonderful time. And when Henry's parents came back from the dance, they were ever surprised. Mudge was a poodle and Henry was a man. Henry wore a tuxedo and a hat and a shiny black shoes. I bet you didn't know I was this handsome, Henry told his dad, and everyone laughed and laughed. I read you. Henry, ready to read. Love it. Henry and Mudge in the Hopper's house. This is Henry, and this is, I mean, this is Henry, and this is Henry, and this is Mudge. And I'm going to read you another book next time.